Uh, all right, well, we're back at the Nine Club, man. Today, well, we got a special guest here today. We got Miles Silvis. What What's up, good? Dude? Welcome to the show. Welcome. Yeah, yeah. thanks for coming. Yeah, yeah, thanks for having me. For sure, man. Always next to Miles, we got Raj, and then uh, over in the corner in his own world, we got <laughs> Kelly Hart. You know. Yeah. Some people think he's in his uh, another room yeah. and stuff, which wouldn't be bad. I would want him. I want him in another zip code, Raj. Dude, ever since the last episode, <laughs> you've been picking on me, bro. Just he picked on the, you a all lot. The, yeah, all the fucked up words in Portuguese, bro. Hey, dude, I mean, I'm trying to <laughs> practice my fucking new language. <laughs> it's all good. It's all love. Vice of a day, Kelly. All right. Vice of a day. <laughs> Thanks. That means go fuck yourself. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> So what's up, Miles? Everything good, dude? I'm good. Does I'm any does people call, ever call you Mason? Do they get you guys confused? No, no never. P- people give me Silva all the time. Silva. They never want to. Even people who they know don't, me. They drop the S. Yeah, who send me emails with the S. They always put Silva. Really? Yeah, they can never remember. That's so S, weird, yeah. right? But I don't get Mason. No? Yeah, it's never. always just Silva. Okay, that's good. Is that's he, good. he's Mason Silva? Mason Silva. And then Mason you're, Silva. And then you're... Silvus, Silvus, yeah. Silvus. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, but so you're are you, you're from Sacramento? Yeah, Sacramento. Yeah? Born and raised. No, I was born in uh, San Jose. San Jose. I lived there till oh. I was like five. Moved okay. to Las Vegas for a year. Oh, sick. And then I've been in Sacramento since like first grade. Okay, mm. wow. Yeah. Did you uh, were you up there when like Bebel and Stefan were up there? Uh, or did they already leave? Not really. I mean, Bebel was still there, but yeah. Stefan was out. And then I seen like Stefan a little bit, but like real okay. quick, and then it was like right when they were moving out. So oh, pretty okay. much not really. Yeah. Right, but there's a dope skate scene up there, right? Yeah, it's pretty yeah. sick. Yeah, I got a bunch of homies and Jeff Landy, photographers still yeah, out there. Jeff so. Landy, yeah. dope. Dude. Who was the first uh, Sacramento pro you met? Uh, probably Stefan. Oh, yeah, yeah, I seen him at. I don't know if he was still living there. He might have moved away, but he came back to the Mather Skate Park where mm-hmm. we're always at, and he was wearing his uh, like a sample of his pro model. So we were all tripping, like, "Damn, that's a new shoe!" Really? And then, yeah, I met him right there. He he had already known like Mika and the photographer, so okay. I'd seen him. Yeah. Wow. Where did you start skating in Sacramento or Vegas or? No, I actually you... I actually got a board in San Jose. Oh, in San Jose. There. Yeah, because my so we you lived... under five. What were you four years old or something? Yeah, I was like four or five. Whoa. We lived with my mom's sister, my aunt, and okay. her son was like probably 16 or something he was a little bit older than me but right. he'd always have friends over skating and he had a banana board a little oh, yellow so. one so he okay. just gave it to me and let me ride right i right. got fo- i don't remember but like i have photos of like doing like a switch manual little lift up no and yeah. like <laughs> really yeah. what switch yeah, yeah fuck, switch. four years old he's switch manning yeah, that's, that's, that, that, you know that's wow. like the only photo but uh did you switch up into it no nope. yeah you should post that on instagram no it's been a while, but I'll probably yeah. throw it back. Throw it back. <laughs> do, a TB, do a TBT or an FFB or whatever they're called. You Thursday's know? coming up, dude. Yeah, do an MCM yeah. on you, dude. You know? A little Man Crush Monday. Huh? <laughs> on myself. <laughs> on yourself, yeah. right. Why not? But, uh, yeah, I got that board, and then we moved to Vegas. And I remember, like, our neighbor built a quarter pipe there. Okay. So we were, like, doing little side flyouts yeah. and, like, and then pretty much skating to, like, Sacramento. But when did you, like, get a trick board? Like, was it when Christmas? I, no, when I was in Sacramento. It was my oh, birthday. Really? I got, like, a black label, some Royals Whoa. that, like, matched the board. Really? It was, like, the graphic. I didn't even know the brand. Dope. But uh, I was, like, riding bikes and riding rollerblades, scooter, all kinds of shit, you know. Playing, you were doing, a rollerblader. Doing, uh, for, yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I, I'm sure you want to admit yeah. that. I'll give it. No, I was, I was young. I don't give a shit. Hey, Gino Iannucci was roller hockey, so, yeah. you know. Yeah. It's not bad, you know. I used to play the the driveway hockey. Oh yeah, pretty much. I pretty. I got my board when I was like, yeah, probably like first grade or something. It was like my second grade. I got like a trick board, like an actual like proper board from the skate shop. But before that, it was like Walmart set up, mm-hmm. banana board and all that. But right, right, right. W- what skate shop back then? Were you going um, to? It was Surf and Skate. That's like the one I really remember that I got like the good setup, like real wheels, trucks. I got like some puffy ass DVSs. Oh, mm-hmm. sick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but they were tired. I went straight to the skate park. Yeah. Session, the new setup. And what, all that. the hangar or? No, no, no. I live, the, I live more in the suburbs. Oh, There's okay. like downtown and then I'm like 30 minutes like inland oh. going towards like, I live in Orangeville, but Orangeville. at the time it was Fair Oaks. And then, uh, yeah, I just skated the skate park there. Okay. Yeah. What was that big indoor park? We did a demo there after the uh, Sacramento. Yeah. Yeah. Sacramento. That place is huge. Yeah, it's not there anymore. It's oh. called Epic. Epic. It was like Epic. Epic. Yeah, yeah. 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 It, was, it was Epic. It's right. Like, it was like a Costco size. You know? Yeah, I think actually when we were there, they were trying to like raise money or something oh, really? because they were actually hurting. All right. Yeah. But they had like a, a sushi dish mm-hmm. thing, mm-hmm. right? Yeah, that thing was tight. That thing yeah. was fun, dude. A little mini Carlsbad gap, and yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. And then so, uh, what, what, like, what was your first? Did you do you remember like your first video that you ever saw, or like how did you get into like, or um, just what was it? Friends you were skating with? No, I, like, sk- I, sk- I skated with friends, but I remember at that skate shop, surfing skate or whatever. Yeah. The one I got the board, they always have like the free uh, Strange Notes. Okay, right. so I would get those. Those were free, and okay. then like 
Grant Taylor had like a moving on up yeah. or whatever. Mm -hmm. oh, that wow. got me hyped. And then I got like nothing but the truth. Okay. And those, I didn't start watching like older videos like Menic Mahdi and shit till like recent. Okay. So oh, really? wow. It was more like more current videos. Bag Whoa. of Suck. Bag of Suck, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But nothing but the truth and like those uh, strange notes. Strange like the main, notes. The That's main so funny, stuff, dude. yeah. It's little promo videos, dude. Free ones. I know. They work, you. right? Yeah. Look what they produced right here. Yeah, no, know? seriously. Strange notes. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, they were and sick. I had like a whole stack of them. I had like so many. I remember they came in like the little envelope with the blue. Mm -hmm. They were like blue or whatever. You I had a couple they, of them. You remember they were in a mag though? What? They were in a mag? No, Strange Notes used to be a little, a little magazine. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, way I didn't, back I would, in the day. I didn't know Oh, yeah, yeah. I thought it was just little videos. Mm -hmm. And you used to like do like VHS oh, no. tapes too. I don't know. Yeah. So what, what did you, uh, what, like, do you remember like, like learning how to kickflip and stuff? Was yeah. it like hard? Like, did I learned how to kickflip in Sacramento. That was like... I would always do a kickflip, but it would like shifty and go like backside flip. Right. So then like I started doing, I couldn't like keep it straight and I was like barely landing them. And then I landed a varial before I kickflip. Really? Because it like just would shove easier, you know? Okay. I couldn't like kickflip and keep it straight. So are you good at backside flips now? Is that? I mean, yeah, I can do backside flips. Okay. I was, yeah. that was like my trick when I was younger. Oh really? I could, like, I could just throw it that yeah, way and it would yeah. be fine. Wait, yeah. you were doing varial flips first? Yeah. Wow. Before I, I, I landed it before I kick flip. And then I would do the kick flip stationary and then I try to like start rolling down the hill. You know what's funny though? I, I feel like I feel like I see little kids they, they're trying to varial flip first, mm -hmm. you know? Because it seems like an easier thing to do yeah. than to actually keep it straight. Yeah, I would kick flip and it would right. turn and then like varial I was like, all right, if I it's gonna turn so I could just jump forward. Right. And then I would like and I just landed on it. I was right, like, all right. right. Yeah. Just to go a varial. Or a kick flip shove it. Varial flip? Oh, because varials you grab. Yeah. Right? We learned that in uh whose episode was that? Gino. Gino. Yeah. Yeah. Did you know that? I did not. Varial is actually a grab. I didn't yep. know that. Yeah. Well, now you know. Learn something new yeah, on the Nine Club. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. every day. Still weird. I can't stop calling it Varial Flip, though. I know. It's like weird to like, yeah. I don't mm -hmm. know. Yeah. But things change. You know, gay used to mean something else. You know, now it means something else. So Varial just kind of, you know. Gay you used go. to mean happy, Raj. You it know? still does. No. Oh, does it? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so then... Uh, so Sacramento, you're doing varial flips. And what, what was your first, like, did you, uh, like, getting sponsored and stuff? Was that on your radar? or uh, were you just It was on my radar in, like, fourth grade. In fourth grade? Wow. Fourth grade. Really? Yeah. That's in fourth young. grade, because I, I, like, tried to go to the school that my little brother was going to, but I didn't get in, so I went to another random school by mm -hmm. myself. And I met my homie Austin, who uh, skated. Okay. And then I was like, oh, I'm going to get sponsored by Surf and Skate, because it was, like, about oh. to be summertime. Right. Like, no, you're not, you're not going to get sponsored. I'm like, no, I'm going to get sponsored by Surf and Skate. Like, yeah. that was, like, my little goal. So then I just made, like, a little sponsor tape. I walked in there, just handed it to one of the guys who was working selling boards. It was actually Casey Bird. <laughs> yeah. Oh. And then... Uh, he ended up taking it, and they ended up flowing me boards, and yeah, wow. I, I got sponsored. Came back the next year, fifth grade. And I was like, "Told you, I got, no, a, I, got right. I got a board." Got like, a yeah, right, right, right. <laughs> wow, fourth grade. How old are you in fourth grade? Like eight, nine? Yeah, I don't know. You're like, I think it's like maybe ten or something like that. Yeah, you're probably oh, like okay. nine, yeah. nine, ten. Oh. Huh. Thinking back, I felt like I was more grown up, but yeah, nine right. sounds tiny. Yeah, so, but yeah. So was your buddy jealous? Was he like, dude, you fucking got fucking sponsored? No, nah, it was dude. more like it was more like the other people that were like the other friends who like kind of skated okay. or whatever. They were right. more like they didn't have shit to say after that. But like, right? I, we I would get like a free board here and there, so I'd give them a board or like we'd oh, go okay. in there and get boards. Dope. It was pretty tight. Yeah. Did you like? get sponsored after that like when was your first like legit um, like or did you were you on flow nah, for anybody it, it was just like skate shops well i had that skate shop that was just the only thing i had okay. and then there was like ground another skate shop ground zero uh -huh. and then i don't know why i got sponsored by that one i just i don't know how that were i kind of forgot were you double dipping no or, no, I wasn't. no. Okay. there was just some other there was some contest i think they had in the parking lot and i skated it and then they were like oh do you want to ride for the shop but something happened with surf and skate okay. where they were kind of going out of business oh got sponsored by that one and then my homie mika Full in the background was sponsored by him too, yeah, yeah, okay. so we were like going out skating, and then I actually got DVS flow like through oh, like shop flow shop rep rep flow, rep flow. yeah okay. yeah through right. through that shop, and that was like the first like actual like we'd get a box sent to the shop and like right. get two pairs. Or so something. like rep flow, like how many? Oh, two pairs, two pairs. Okay. It was like one pair sometimes, sometimes two pairs. Okay, yeah, I think it's I got not three. bad when you're nine or ten. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah I got three pairs one time. It was tripping. It was pretty tight. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> your parents must have loved it. They yeah. had to buy. Uh, Shoes. Yeah, were your parents like stoked that you were getting all this free stuff? Yeah, or did they? It was I mean, still, were they supportive? Or what? yeah, for sure. Yeah, because okay. I was playing a bunch of sports, so they were hyped on anything really I was okay. doing that was like active, active. Whatever, whatever you know. Yeah. yeah. What other sports were you playing at the time? Baseball. I was playing baseball. I was playing football. 
I was playing. What about basketball, dude? So- I played basketball when I lived in Vegas. You're tall. How tall are you? Well, through six. Uh, no, I'm about like, six two. Yeah, I'm six two. Six two. I'm a good judge of nice. height. You know, <laughs> I'm a good judge of height. Good. Good. But you should play. No, you never thought about. No, we I did. I'd be making a lot more money, dude, yeah. if you're playing basketball. I could have been point guard. You could be like, oh, <laughs> fucking uh, power forward. You know? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, I used to play basketball, and when I lived in Vegas, I was like five, six. Okay. Yeah. yeah. That was the last time I played it, like oh, on a really? team. Yeah. Actually, no, no, no. I came to Sacramento. I played it in first grade. Yeah. I was, it was fun, but I didn't stick with it dude, that much. Dude, you remember a lot from your childhood, dude. Yeah. Like, I can't remember shit growing up. I don't know. I just know? felt like I was, like, doing a lot. That, yeah. like, did things that stood out. So it kind right, of just, right. like, stays in my head. But he's still yeah. pretty young. How old are you now? I just turned 21 in October. Yeah. He's 21. so young. He'll be yeah. Really yeah. Wow. <laughs> God, man, you're making Roger feel old. <laughs> shit. Well, I'm twice his age. <laughs> I know. So you could be his father. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, I was playing basketball. Then that stopped. And then I was playing soccer. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Baseball and football, but then okay. I stopped soccer, and then I was pretty much playing baseball and football, baseball, like football, going yeah. up into high school. Right, and then what was the first? Would you play soccer first? Was that your first um, like AYSO or something? Were you? I think it was soccer. Yeah, I played soccer and like basketball. Those were kind of at the same time. Same I think. Time. Yeah, because okay. I played in Vegas, and those were like the, I think I played them at the same time. Yeah, because I always trip out because like here in the United States, like usually that's the kids' first sport that they play, yeah. soccer. You know, but it's not even big here. You know, it's like they go, they start with soccer and they go on to like basketball Play or t- fo- t-ball. T-ball was the first one. Okay, just t-ball. remembered. That right. was in San Jose, so that yeah. was really young, like five. <laughs> Is t-ball a sport? Yeah, you yeah. hit the ball and you run around the bases, <laughs> and all the little kids try to go get the ball. I feel like right? soccer is probably like, a little bit more simple. Everyone wants to just run around, and kick exactly. the ball. And you got to hold just, the bat. I think like, that's just it. You yeah. know, it's like the, get the, get the kids out of the house, get them to play soccer. They could eat orange slices after the fucking game. <laughs> you know, all that. Yeah. Stuff. Get them in the minivan. So then what? When, when did you get sponsored, like, for real? When, when did you have, it, it, like, went, it went from the rep flow. Because oh. I was getting those shoes sent there, and then something, I think, they, like, had, like, an actual team and, like, a van, like, the skate shop. So they, we would, like, go out on filming missions. Okay. And then I don't know what happened. I think they might have said something to the actual rep. Oh. And then he was like, oh, hit up Gabe Clements, like, mm-hmm. the actual TM. Mm-hmm. So you got and then, DBS? then I got a fat-ass box to my house. Really? <laughs> <laughs> That's the best fucking feeling, yeah. dude, when that big old box yeah, shows up. I was like, because I, I got shoes. Like, the shoes was, like, my first sponsor. So then okay. yeah, I went from, like, three pairs to, like, Got like nine, ten pairs or something. Dude, it was crazy. That's yeah. fucking good. And you were probably what, like what, thirteen, fourteen or something? Yeah, I was you like, were... I was like thirteen, twelve, thirteen. Yeah. Dude, all your friends must have been yeah. just like I had shoes for days. It wow. was crazy. <laughs> so then that that was like, yeah, that was like my first real sponsor. Sick, right? And what what about boards? What were you doing for boards? Still a skate shop? I was just skating shop boards. Okay, yeah. right, yeah, yeah. Skate ground zero. What, did boards. you like want to spend send sponsor me videos to people, or how did that go? Like, I mean, I was just kind of just filming like oh, yeah. with my friends and okay. stuff, but I didn't really, I don't really remember like wanting to like send, or I, I probably just didn't know who to send it to, you know? Right. So right. I was just using the DVS as like I got okay. shoes, I had shop boards, so I was just You're skating. Good. Yeah. Right. Right. Well, I mean, you grew up in the in the age of, uh, you know links yeah you send yeah. a link to somebody instead of a, a vhs a DVD. tape mm-hmm. or a dvd yeah a lot of people i like just met like uh i remember i met uh ears like yeah. Just, yeah. Just, Justin Williams. Williams. Yeah, yeah. yeah and then he like hooked me up with force and then like i met the rep for dvs and he force, gave me dvs's force, yeah for shoes no trucks no, tr- oh trucks. Yeah. i was gonna oh, say we yeah. almost skated well, like i skated for four shoes yeah i don't know if you remember it was <laughs> i don't i don't know that no. <laughs> I think I was just skating forces, and then I got off DV. Well, I got the opportunity to ride for Lakai. Oh, dope! And then that happened, and then when that happened, that like Carl Watson hit me up, uh-huh. and then I'm kind of skipping steps. Actually, oh, what are you? What, was, what, what, <laughs> what are we missing? Because huh? uh, Organica actually came about before before Lakai. Yeah. Okay. How did that come about? So I was getting the DVSs. Uh-huh. I was skating those. And then uh, I was skating these like local contests okay. in like the Bay Area. It was called like Central Valley Am Jam. Okay. And then my pops and my mom would drive me. They were in like, because I live in Sacramento, so they were in like Ripon, Ceres, uh-huh. all these little towns. And then they would have these contests that we'd go to. And uh, I think the last one, I wasn't going to go because I didn't even have DVSs. So I was hella weird about like I had to wear those, you know, I didn't want to be seen in like yeah. Nikes or some right, shit. Right, right, right. Yeah. So uh, well, it's your sponsor. Yeah, it's my yeah. sponsor. Yeah. yeah. And right. then I, all I had was like some blazer lows, and I was like, I'm not going. Like, my board's shitty. My Why shoes. Why didn't you have shoes? They just probably just, just ran out. Ran you know? out. Yeah, you mm. know, stuff doesn't come on time. You called don't. Gabe. <laughs> yelled at him. You know, I'm going to these fucking <laughs> contests, Gabe. Come on. <laughs> but uh, 
And then my pops was like, no, you should go. Like, come on. Like, he doesn't, like, my parents are big on, like, don't give up. You know, right. if you start, you got to finish yeah. it. Yeah. So I mean, like, rip the swoosh off or something. Yeah, yeah. I kept, I kept it on. But Did you? Yeah. Oh, okay. I ended, pretty right. much I ended up going. And then Carl Watson, that was the first time they had a guest, like, pro, like, okay. judge the judge. contest. Oh, but he, he was, like, judging it. And then I ended up getting first place. And then he, like, hit me or, like, he came down to, off the podium and was like, yo, like, what's your name? Do you have any footage? Dope. And then. I was actually filming a part with my homie. Okay. And so we had a full part. So I was like, yeah, I got tons of footage to give you. Like, gave him right. my address. And then he hit me up, like, the next day. And, like, he was sponsored by LRG. So, mm -hmm. like, yep. my phone was just blowing up. I got sponsored by Organica, LRG, Force was giving me trucks. All of this one fucking Yeah, contest. and then I think Force maybe helped me out. Or I don't remember who. But then I got uh, in contact with Jared Lucas. Then I got Bones, mm -hmm. too, at mm -hmm. that whole time. Right. So I got, like four sponsors and Dude, like, you fucking hit the jackpot <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. you fucking won the lottery yeah, yeah, in yeah, the yeah. skate world yeah. right so that all pretty much popped off after that contest and then like carl uh i don't know if ko had a filmer or not but mm -hmm. like since i like had the footage or whatever and then my homie filmed it he like okay. gave him a job as the filmer right and me as the skater so like we both got hooked up alan? Oh. yeah alan okay sitting over here yeah. <laughs> damn dude Fucking kid at the jackpot, you know. <laughs> yeah, you go to the contest, Christ. sound like sound like it happened pretty fast. I know. Man. Yeah, but kinda, but, all, but it was still all flow, right? Yeah, it was you, all flow. You didn't get on. Everything was flow. Yeah. Okay, right. But still, and then, I mean, these fucking yeah. boxes showing up to your house, you know. No, it was crazy because I would like hang up. I would get this call, and then they would call the other house phone, and then I'd have like two phones, like LRG, like no, it was way. crazy. Like out for like forty five minutes, I was getting calls like all at the what? same time. Because I think Carl was telling them like, oh, hit him up or something. Right, so right, it was right. all just like, what about what, whatever happened in this footage? Did you? Uh, put out a part with the footage too? yeah it, it ended like up well so i got that or whatever and then carl was like oh we want you to come out to the barracks and film like help with the united nations you know come okay. out yeah so then we both went and then that went good okay and then they were like yeah we want you, we want to put you on the team so you should film a part or like wow or i had the footage actually you had and it. then that just kind of went towards it. i think i went to san diego one time and filmed wow. a little bit more okay. stuff oh so the, all the footage went to the organica video yeah. Is that well it? not not the video it was like no. a wel welcome to the team welcome to the team yeah okay sick so that's where all the footage went i mean just going to the barracks alone you were probably tripping right no yeah. that was sick uh i had to like take time off school i was a freshman which was pretty tight i got to leave for a week really was film. it the old barracks it was the old barracks yeah, yeah. That did that fun, and then that it was funny because actually lrg i was getting flowed by them they were coming the week after mm. and uh josh uh josh anderson was okay. getting he was riding for organica and was flow for lrg so he was staying the second week to film the lrg one oh. and they wanted me to stay but i like couldn't miss two weeks of school but it ended up working out right that one uh, that organica one was really good too yeah that one was dope. that was tight so so then you're on the team on the team what happened then then you got on lakai flow yes i was on or i got on organica right Got on LRG and then I was skating DVSs for a little while mm -hmm. and then I might have not gone fully on LRG yet, I'm not sure, but mm. Carl pretty much talked to Rick Howard. Okay. And he mentioned that he wanted me to get on Lakai and Royal. Oh wow. And I talked to him, I was like, fuck dude, I don't know, like because I'd been on DVS, that was like my first sponsor. So right. it's you know, it's hard to leave a first sponsor. Yeah. But at the yeah. same time though, DVS and Lakai were in the same building. Yeah, I didn't know that. Oh. <laughs> and then uh <laughs> But there's still two separate teams, you yeah. know. Yeah. yeah. I think I told him like, Oh, I don't know if I'm gonna do it, I think I'm okay. okay. And then I hung up and I think I called him right back and I was like, Yeah, I, if you say so, like I think I should do it. Yeah. And then yeah, I said okay, and I got. I hit up Gabe, or I think I emailed him or something, because I don't think I had talked to him on the phone yet. Okay. I didn't really know who he was. Right. And then yeah, I got on the car, I got on Royal. Wow. And that was pretty Flo. crazy. Flow. 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 Right. I remember yeah. Mesa showing me his uh Royal Okay. Like, welcome to Royal or whatever. And he's yeah. like, check this kid out. That yeah. part was sick. Wow. Yeah, it was quick. I was hyped on that. Thanks. So you're on Organica and you're on still on Flow for the shoe companies, mm -hmm. right? Or, but you got on Lakai. I mean, you had a welcome to Lakai. Well, or I was got, it a welcome to Royal? Welcome to Royal. I, I got confused welcome there. To Royal. Welcome yeah, to yeah, Royal. Yeah. Okay. So were you ever on Lakai fully? I mean, not not for that. Not that. Okay. That came out welcome to Royal, but I was still Flow for Lakai. Still Flow mm -hmm. for Lakai. Yeah. Okay. Wow. I think so, you had like a, a, a random shoe commercial, didn't you? For Lakai? Yeah. That was the welcome. Was it? Yeah, it was like yeah. the introduce for like the Griffin yeah. all green shoe. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. So then the the Organica thing's going good, right? You guys are doing yeah, or, videos. Did you guys do a video? Yeah, they, they did a, not like a full length video, okay. but they just did like little projects. Little, little like me and Walker did some things here and okay, there. Just dope. like little edits, Arizona edit, like right. ran, random little edits. And then how long were you on Organica? I was on Organica. That happened like when I was like, 13 maybe okay. 12 or something Thir no, i was i was like 13 right. and then i was on organica till like last year or it was like it's been a year without a board sponsor so then it was like halfway i think it was like april of 2015 yeah 
give or take. I mean, yeah. so you were on uh, for like seven years. Yeah, I was on for a long time. Wow. That might, that might have been when I turned pro that day. I don't know. It's hard to remember these years. but <laughs> Okay, so let's talk about when they turned you pro. Yeah. How did that feel? That was crazy. Was it? That was crazy as fuck, yeah. <laughs> what, what, how did they do it? Did they tell you or surprise you? Um, or? Yeah, they surprised me fully. I forgot what it was. They were like, because we always have a group message. I write, okay. At this point, I, yeah, I write for PLA. Mm -hmm. And uh, we always have like like team meetings or whatever. We mm -hmm. just get together at the shop, eat pizza, drink beer, and talk about new stuff we're going to do. Sick. Yeah. And we have a group text. So they hit the group text like, oh, we're going to do a meeting tonight, blah, blah, blah. Made it like official or whatever. And then walker came into town with carl i thought nothing of it right and then uh i think yeah, yeah they came into town and then i think they wanted to do some shoot or something like clo okay. board shoot or something and then pretty much we just met at the shop and then everybody was fucking there yeah. like my parents my friends Were everyone like, what the and then, fuck? then yeah. the whole the whole, whole board wall was like the pro board you when, know when you walked in did you notice the pro board wall or no i didn't sometimes you could overlook shit like that yeah, you know, yeah not even notice nah, right yeah, yeah it was all set up and then yeah. i think they just like came out the door like yeah it was just a big yeah it was a big big deal did you cry i don't <laughs> think i cried. No. No, no did no, you cry when you had your no, I, I told you the story. I was I pissed. <laughs> I had to fucking catch to a Barcelona. flight to Barcelona, yeah. and they dragged me down to, you know. It was cool, though. I was actually stoked. But, um, but so that's a fucking huge, though. Yeah. I mean, how old were you? You said you were when you uh, turned pro? Yeah, I was like 18, 19. And when then you quit. quit. And then I quit, which was fucked <laughs> hey, up. <did> you <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, oh, so 18, 19, so you must have quit like th two or three years after you turned pro, right? Mm -mm, I turned no, pro. No. And, no, so I got, that That was the day actually. So I took, got, I turned pro in April okay. and then I quit like December. Really? It wasn't that long. Okay. And then it's 2017 now. So it was like a year without a board sponsor. Right. And then it happened. Yeah. So that's okay. right. 2015. What, so what, what made you quit? I mean, pretty much shit was just going like south. Like it wasn't okay. going very good for a long time. Things were just getting ran bad pretty much you know okay uh, it was like kind of a long time coming and then me and walker were talking about it and uh -huh. carl was talking about it right. and then pretty much carl gave us his like blessing to like do some do something else okay so once that happened then it pretty much like me and walker so, were both like solidified uh, yeah, yeah. we were let's, like okay let's yeah, let's be right. out because that's yeah, where that's where our loyalty was too you know because carl course. like hooked it up for right. all of us yeah. so. but if carl gave you the blessing i mean that's awesome you yeah know? i mean some people would have just been like yo stick around yeah so it wasn't like, yeah, like, yeah, yeah it know, wasn't like yeah. harsh feelings i right. mean we that's tried dope. to stick it out for a while like we had this talk a couple times okay. and then it finally came to the point where we couldn't keep it going so yeah 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 you know it's been i mean seven years on the team at least you know wow it's a long time yeah, it was a while. Wow. How long was it until uh, Guy and Eric approached you for numbers? Um, It had been a year. Was a it? Year? Yeah, I was chilling for oh, a while. Wow. So yeah. you had no plan. You were just like, hey, I'm going to float around. I'm just going to do my thing. Yeah, I wasn't really. What were really... you doing for boards in the meantime? Um, I was skating shop boards, shop boards skating right. just, just whatever. Just PLA boards? Okay. Yeah, PLA well, boards pretty much. Did yeah. anybody approach you? Yeah, I got hit up by a couple people. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Huh. <laughs> I, got, <laughs> uh, I got hit up by Enjoy because my homies really? were getting my homie Blue and Mika were okay. sponsored by Enjoy. Oh. And I know, and then, and I was working for Enjoy at the time. Yeah, I know yeah. Louis really wanted you on. Yeah, oh, and wow. then uh, Cairo was coming up into town with Louis, so they hit me okay. up. What? And, what? What? Uh, now? What? How come you didn't take that? I don't know. I was just not. You know. I just said I'm, I'll, I'll hit you back, or okay. I'll, let, I'll let you know. Thank you. But you never called and him then, back. No, I texted him. Oh, Matt, you did? Matt, okay. Matt, I think Matt Eversol <laughs> hit me up oh, or oh, something. Right. And then uh, Cairo DM me. But you know what? Yeah, that, that, but pretty but much. That's it, a great team to be on, though. You yeah. know, I think it, you know. It was cool. I probably just didn't know what was. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. You probably was maybe, waiting for that right. I was thing. just waiting. Yeah, yeah. It didn't. Yeah. Probably, it just didn't feel right. Right. right didn't right. feel like that's where I was at. Okay. That's but, uh, cool. Yeah, I respect that. So you're floating around for like a year. I mean, were you getting worried at all before you talked to guy? And no, and, I mean it's weird because everyone was like, "Dude, you don't have a board sponsor." Yeah. Blah, 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 but. I was, I, I, was, I was writing for Adidas. You so are already like, writing for Adidas. Yeah. Okay. So I was getting shoes. and. So yeah, we are skipping ahead a little bit. Yeah. So what, how did the, uh, we'll come back to that. So going forward with, the, how did the Adidas thing come about? I think, oh, I was going on trips with, uh, official hat trips or whatever yeah. with Rodrigo TX. Okay. And I was going on LRG trips with him, official trips. So. Oh. So we were like traveling a lot and yeah. then he was getting adidas and he was like yo like joking around like what's up with the stripes like blah blah, blah. right 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 i was like right. i don't i don't know like i love it when people joke, <laughs> joke like that yeah you know? <laughs> i don't know bro what is and uh, yeah he's like what's yeah. up with the stripes i was like i don't know like i'm writing for the kai like yeah he's like eh. he right, just, he just yeah. make little gestures you know yeah. Yeah. always hanging out and then uh i think i just asked i think yeah uh he got in contact with yasha, yasha. who's like the brand manager yeah. and then i think yeah he mentioned it to me and i was kind of like down yeah and then yeah, it just went from there. They ended they, up hitting they, me up. They gave me like, do you want to like do this if you want? Yeah, and I was down. So Sick. I mean, they got a great program over yeah. there. Yeah. It's fucking, you know, wow. 
Everyone great, seems very happy squad. over there. Everybody yeah. seems ecstatic over there. Yeah, yeah. everyone's wow. super cool. Everyone's totally close, so. right. Yeah. And the away days thing, and like I don't know. I just like I just like the I like the way that they're doing. Why are you laughing, Raj? Raj is always laughing. <laughs> Dude, I don't know what the fuck he's talking. You know, it looks dope though because it actually does look like it's how big a team is. You guys are all friends. It was different getting on because like usually if you ride for a company, it's like pretty small or whatever. Yeah. And if you go on a trip, it's usually that whole team. But right. like with Adidas, there's so many people that like you'll go on a trip with like these five people. Right. Next trip will be like these four people. Like, yeah, we so like, you're always with different people, which is cool because you yeah. get to know everyone, and like, mm-hmm. so then when the whole team's like, you're comfortable with everyone, you know, which is rad. Do people show up and you're like, hey, who are you, man? <laughs> no, <laughs> no, okay. I probably will. I mean, for, like, for, I for, for first couple of trips, yeah, you got to meet everyone, but I know everyone now. So, uh, and then Nora's on the team too. Mm-hmm. You know? I just actually met her. I'm out here for an Adidas trip. Oh, oh so oh, I sick. actually just met her. We're staying at a house in, oh, uh, in Bel Air. Yeah, yep. Oh. Can I come over and kick it? Does it have a hot tub and shit? It does have a hot tub. No? Yeah. Bel Air house with no hot tub. It's <laughs> <Fucking laughs> unheard of. Fat ass bathtub. Right? No, no oh, bathtub <laughs> with no jets? Uh, I don't know. I haven't turned it on yet. You should turn it on, bro. <laughs> we'll see what's yeah. up. Yeah. Uh, do you have a girlfriend? Yes, I do. Oh, you do? Yeah. Okay. Wow. How long you been uh, seeing her? Mm, it's been like almost four years. Four years? Damn. Damn. Wow. That's tight. Damn. It's wifey up. Yeah. Everybody's shocked here. <laughs> <laughs> God damn. Um, how long you been seeing your girl, Raj? been about two years two years yeah okay do you guys live together no we don't no we both still live with our parents she's in college you right live now with your parents i live with my parents dude you're probably saving a good amount of money dude. seriously yeah, yeah. <laughs> i mean, yeah. was thinking about moving back with his parents so we yeah, could I save some money <laughs> <you>. right now <laughs> yeah. he could eat some food uh, my little brother actually just moved out so okay. he's like the first one out <laughs> you, how does that make you your little brother moves out make, before you yeah yeah he because he's playing soccer he's actually living in singapore are you serious really? yeah he, wow. just recently it's been he's probably been gone for like two months he's now. probably good then yeah wow He's playing professionally. Yeah. Wow. Seriously. It's pretty tight. Yeah, he's a senior. So or he graduated high school. Yeah. Yasha would send him shoes or like cleats or whatever. He oh, would, no. He would get like a box of cleats. I'd come home and be like, damn, what is this? And he'd be like, back up. This is my, this this is my, my box. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, well, I can't skate in cleats, so yeah. I guess you could have them. But I don't, but that's how did he do that? How did he could play for Singapore? Um, he's just been playing soccer for as long as he's been playing sports. Pretty much. That was like his favorite sport. Oh, okay. And then he played... Uh, my uncle lives in uh, San Jose, oh, yeah. and he's got a younger son who's like six months older than my brother, okay. and they're real close, and they've been playing soccer. And then he actually, my cousin went first to Singapore. Wow. Started. How did he get on Singapore? I know this is about I think, brother, but I mean, um, so interesting. A, yeah. yeah. I don't know. I guess it's like a big hub for people who play soccer. I mean, people from the U.S. are all over. They can oh. like go to Singapore, and it's a good opportunity to like play. Interesting. What about the U.S. team? He didn't want to like, uh, um, he was just better out there? I don't know anything I don't know. Some, I don't know. He, I just, I don't know what happened really, honestly, how he got the plug but right. like my uncle knew people out there okay. and his son went first and signed and stayed oh. and then he went out there and became the assist or the second coach so then they're living out there full time right and then my brother just pretty much came after oh they're all together Whoa. now and wow. how old how much younger is he he's 18 18 yeah he turns Damn. 19 in march kind of so crazy dude yeah. 18 years old move out to singapore but at least he's got people out there no which is good if it yeah. was if it like they weren't out there it'd be a little crazy but right. no he's cool he's liking it Make, oh. make him grow up fast. Wow. He's good. So he moved out first, man. I'm chilling. I'm, I'm trying. Get, when are you going to get yeah. your spot? Dude? I'm trying to move out pretty soon to like a different part of Sacramento. Yeah. So I'm going to stay there. Okay. Yeah, that's like stay in Sac, huh? Yeah. I live in the suburbs. So I'm going to try to move downtown right. and just keep it. Yeah. yeah keep it Sacramento. What do you, what, what's, a, what's a rent in Sacramento right now? If you wanted to move out, you don't know. I don't if know. you wanted to move out, I mean, get some, a little one bedroom. Some of my friends probably pay like, I don't even know, dude. I don't know. No? 1500 2000 Probably like, probably like 1500 1500 a, a couple of my homies live in SF. That's a different yeah, story. Right, but right, 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 yeah, right, but right. Sacramento, I think, is normal. It's like yeah, it's going right. up because they just got the stadium built. That's right. But yeah, you I go th- to games. I haven't. No. I've never been to a Sacramento Kings game. You know, I played on their on the court there. Really? Yeah. <laughs> like a like a five on five, dude. Damn. Damn. Yeah, me, Beeble, Costin. He was friends with the Maloofs. Damn, and we that's all went sick. up and played. They had refs and everything, scoreboard. They nice. gave us jerseys with our names on them. Damn, that's sick. Right. Right. Do they still own them? Or No, they sold them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think so, yeah. yeah. I don't keep up with basketball, but yeah, I heard that. Okay, so then, uh, so now you're on Adidas, and everything's going well, man. How long have you been skating for Adidas? Um, It's probably been like two years, two, two, years? two and a half. Yeah, I feel like it's hmm. like still new, you know? So I feel like it, Adidas... It didn't take very long to film that away days part, huh? Um, I got thrown in a little bit as it was already started, but okay. it was probably, it was over a year. I mean, you were doing was, two parts at the same time, weren't you? Yeah. That, I mean, I was filming the LRG 1947 and then I was filming that. So Damn. those were, it was a little hard to do that just right. to figure out what clips were going to go where and figure out what was going to come out first. And you know, mm-hmm. so LRG gone, it's gone. 
how did you feel when they stopped the skate program? It was crazy. I mean, I knew it was coming, but yeah. I it you, just you, I just got a call like immediate like from Tyrone the TM. Okay, and he was like, "Yeah, it's a wrap as of today. It's just cut." Wow. I was like, damn, dude, what the fuck? He's like, "Yeah, you're the first person I called." I'm oh shit. Trying to let everyone know. Wow. But you knew before. I knew it was, it was coming. I had heard back. little things, okay. but I don't know. I try not to pay it to mind. Hopefully, maybe it would stay around. Yeah. But right, right. Yeah, right. it just happened. I mean, what a great so. fucking. I'm it was, hyped. It was yeah. a great team, yeah. legacy. No, it was a sick you know? team, and I'm hyped we got to put out the video to have something, you know? Yeah. Could have gone under right before the video was done. Oh, or like, right, yeah. right, right. Wow. You guys traveled yeah. a lot for that video. A lot, dude. Yeah. yeah. You guys looked like, it looked like you went some sick spots, yeah. for sure. A lot of Asia stuff, went yeah. to Cyprus. I mean, that's pretty, a huge yeah. perk of skateboarding, is the traveling. Like, I don't think I would have ever left the United States if it wasn't for skating. Yeah, You know what sure. I mean? Like, it's fucking brought me around the world, man. Yeah. yeah. We'll travel one day. Oh God! When's the last time you traveled to skate, Chris? Uh, one year ago, maybe two years. I don't know. It's been Seems a while. like, yeah, it's been a while, man. I don't know. Social media has fucked the whole thing up. You know <laughs> what I mean, Miles? Yeah, fucked it all up. <laughs> Miles filmed some fucking good Instagram clips, dude. Do you? I don't know. I try. Yeah, he I'm really at the skate does. park all the time. We're yeah. at the skate park Just like every up day. Mather? Oh. Mather Park. That's like, I mean, there's other parks, but Mather's like the best one. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. where everyone goes. Right, right. That's fucking <laughs> fucking drunk over here. Can you pass me that paper towel, bro. You gotta stop putting that vodka in that LaCroix. I don't fuck with sparkling water, but those LaCroix are pretty good. Them, <laughs> I just I had one of those water. in New York. It was pretty, it was good. When uh, MJ came on, he like walked in and oh he had like, God. we had all this coffee in here and, and we was like, hey, what up? Built two giant Vente <laughs> coffees <laughs> all over the place. There's still stains on the floor. Fuck. It was awesome. Well, it just looks like I pissed my pants for the fucking viewers at home. <laughs> so. I don't know. Like I was saying, like you know, I mean, you just uh, you grew up in a in a different age, you know, so it's mm -hmm. like all normal to you, right? I yeah. Mean, do you have an opinion about like Instagram and how it, it's uh, uh, affecting skateboarding and stuff, if if it is at all, you know? No, nah, it's eyes? cool. I mean, a lot of stuff just comes out so fast now. Like yeah. people drop a part. I mean, even like a Thrasher part, or right. you know, that shit comes out. It's hyped up for like a day, two, maybe. Uh, and then it's gone. And then right. there's another Thrasher part that's up. If that came out Monday, it's up like Thursday. Yeah. So then that one's like, right. You know, it's crazy. But are you, are you the type, do you watch a lot of YouTube shit or are For you sure. on the, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, I wake up, I check Thrasher barracks, okay. like free skate mag, really? all, the, all the shit. Wow. And then, uh, no, it's cool. I yeah. think social media is helping out a lot of people, Okay. Yeah. but there is like, so, you see so many tricks now. I think it makes like the skating progress because you see oh, it, a fucking right. tricks left and right well, kids, every day. I mean, growing up kick, trying to kickflip, like yeah. now kids can just Google or YouTube how to kickflip. Yeah. Like I didn't have that. Like I had to learn on my own. And, and that's why friends. dudes like Andy Schrocker I would do that too, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Do you watch any of the like revived dudes? Are you fans of the... What do you mean revived dudes? Oh, uh, you don't know about the revived uh -uh. guys or Braille? You know what's funny yeah. is that, well, a lot of people do come here and he says, they, they say the same thing. Yeah. They don't know about them and right. they introduce them and they're like, what the... Fuck yeah, that. there's a whole parallel universe of like <laughs> YouTubers who are like killing the game. Yeah, yeah. Huh. They're, yeah. they're selling more boards than like some of the larger brands. It's crazy, dude. Yeah, yeah. Crazy. We'll, we'll get him. We'll get Andy Schrock on the show one day. And, yeah, and hell shoot yeah. Shoot the shit with him. You know about that <laughs> shit? Yeah, you know about it. Yeah. So when the numbers thing came about, right? You mm -hmm. hadn't had a sponsor for like a year, mm -hmm. right? And uh, how did that, did guy approach you? Um, how did that come about? Was it uh, Costin? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. I met Costin at the battle at the barracks last year. Okay. Did you enter? Yeah, I played him. Oh, you played him? Yeah. <laughs> played and him. You beat him? No, he beat me. Oh, shit. Okay. I got fucking nervous. I literally yeah. flew from Sacramento. I flew, me and Jeff Landy, we flew straight to LAX, uh -huh. straight to the barracks, wow. played the game, straight to the airport, back home. No way. Oh. It was crazy, yeah. And he was already like, I got there, and then everyone just stopped. I had oh. to warm up. Everyone had to watch me warm up. That's the worst, dude. But it was cool. He was hella cool. He made yeah. it fun. And then I met him there. And then I think he texted me or something. It was just like, yo, what are you doing for boards? Like, okay. I keep up on all your videos and shit. I was right. like, damn, crazy. Yeah. And then. When Costin's hitting me up. Like, yeah. And then I didn't really know what I was doing yet because okay. I still didn't have a sponsor. But right, I was right. still, I didn't know what they were doing. And then he kind of gave me a little pitch and okay. then well, told me their ideas. And dope. I kind of chilled for a minute. And then. They hit me up again, and yeah, I kind of just went from there. What was his pitch? No, he was just said me and Guy are doing a doing a doing a brand, mm -hmm. doing a board company. Yeah, and, didn't uh, say the name. That right there is sold. No. <laughs> right, I, I mean, no, Guy no. Mariano and Costa. No, because you know? there wasn't a name for a while, and then they were just uh, yeah. He said they were both doing it, and they'd be psyched to have me on. Dope. And that was pretty much they it. They called me right. too, but you know, I got them chocolate. And, you know, <laughs> so it was nice of them, you know. Trading just call you to go skate that day? Oh, maybe it was. Yeah, yeah I don't know. Yeah, I got a missed call. 
I didn't, call, I, didn't, <laughs> I didn't call him back. So then you were like, okay, cool. This is my. This might be a dope thing. You mm-hmm. know, I got two of my favorite skaters, probably. Right. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck. It's pretty crazy. To yeah. Be a hit up and then that. Rodrigo too, being teammates and everything, yeah, and no, him getting he, you on Adidas, kind of. He was writing for DGK. Okay. And right. then since Organica was being a rap, right. like DG, like things were just happening at Ko. Yeah. So he was kind of looking for an outlet to where to go. Okay. And then we were like, dog, we should try to write for something. Right, and then right. we were talking about maybe not like starting something, like but like, like a package deal. Exactly, but okay. just like where he wanted to go, I would want to go, or vice versa. Yeah. And then, because right. you guys are tight, mm-hmm. yeah. And then I mentioned it to Costin, and they were like, "Damn, that'd be fucking sick! Like, do you think you'd really be down? Like, right. that'd be tight. Like Brazil, we're yeah. here, yeah. And yeah, it ended up working out. Dope, yeah, dude. We both got on. I mean, you guys got a little sick team, dude. Started up, you mm-hmm. know. Well, a lot of hype behind it too. Yeah. yeah, it's cool. It's dope. The first little video you put out, what was it called? Uh, Twelve uh, forty-five Twelve, or yeah, something. Yeah, 1245. 1245. Mm-hmm. It was uh, it was sick. Yeah. yeah. Did you like the vibe of it? Like just kind of like. Uh, yeah, it was tight because like, we went to LA. They said they wanted to film the intro. We had no idea how we were gonna no? do it, and okay. then they gave us the pitch when we got there that they were just gonna film it, like pretty much pretend like the filmers aren't there, right? And, and, and just and yeah. just just skate, go right. to spots where we can all session yeah. and all skate, and then it just came Sick, together, dude. Yeah, it turned out good. Even when we like finished the trip, I was like, damn, I wonder how they're gonna make the video out of this. And then we seen it, and it was fucking. Oh, sick. so you actually questioned like the way that they were <laughs> filming like, it I, and stuff? No, like, no, 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 like because we were skating, but like we were doing tricks, but like we were kind of just like chilling at spots like right. session or okay. whatever and i right. didn't know like what exactly they were filming it wasn't I was like filming, oh i'm trying this trick let's break the camera out and yeah, photographers yeah. And that, like, that happened you know. maybe like once or twice but okay. for the most part it was like we were just cruising around cruising around they were filming right. all the yeah. everything pretty much yeah. that wow. one you were like cru- you guys were all cruising and then out of nowhere you did switch heel front crook shove it yeah and i was like what the fuck <laughs> i never did yeah i, 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 <laughs> oh, I never even done that spot? one before yeah, yeah that was and then, really tight that one i tried for a little while we were like trying it and then yeah just didn't you do switch heel front crook on a table too? Yeah, oh, yeah. that was in the way days. Yeah. So were, were, were you like nervous getting on the numbers and stuff? Or uh, was it, uh, no, I wasn't nervous. I was psyched, especially that TX got on. So I had a, yeah. a homie there, you know. Right, right. And then it was probably just more nervous just to go to LA and meet them and yeah. like. Have you say, ever met Guy before? And nah, I, I no? saw Costin, so at least I had like seen him. But right. like Guy, I'd, I'd said what's up like real fast at like the Royal United okay. Nations. Right. But then like seeing him there and actually like hanging out with them and shit, it was yeah. pretty crazy. But it was cool as fuck. He's rad, dude. Yeah, yeah they're yeah. both super cool. It feels mellow. It doesn't mm-hmm. you kind of forget that they're who they are? What do you think of Antonio? He's cool as fuck. Yeah, everyone's super cool. Yeah. Antonio's tight. He's gnarly. He, we we call him he's a, a little. Beast. He, yeah, he's like a GI Joe. Yeah. Just like <laughs> fuck him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's super good, though. Yeah, we all skated on that first trip. And then I'm out here for Adidas trip till, mm-hmm. like, the 6th. And then the last week, we're staying for a numbers thing. So okay. another little numbers thing is going to be happening. Oh, nice. Yeah, nice. So I'll be back. Just here in L.A.? Mm-hmm. Or, oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh, dope. I noticed uh, some of their boards are, like, for me, I write a really small board. But, mm-hmm. like, some of the boards are pretty big and crazy nose. and Everyone has their own shape. Oh, okay. So, like, oh. I think mine is the biggest board. I think I have an 8.3. Oh, damn. Uh, yeah. Right. I, or it's eight, uh, not, I think. It is an 8375. Yeah. And then Costin is an 825. He's got like the square shovel nose. Wow. TX. TX's production board is an 8, but he skates a 763. <laughs> <laughs> I he like still it. skates the same shape, huh? <laughs> so you got to choose your shape and everything. Yeah. So that's the one that's in production, too. Yep. That's the one. That's dope. What is, the, what, is, what is what's the 95? That's, that's my a, birthday. That's your birthday? Birthday year. Yeah. Oh, my God. Pretty much everyone picked a number that, yeah. like, meant something. So okay. I just, like, picked 95. Wow. Simple. I would have picked 69. Yeah. <laughs> that's just me. It's yeah. a good-looking board, though. I got to tell you. You yeah. know? Thanks, 1245, yeah. 31, 13... 95, 80, it's like Lost. Man, do you ever watch Lost with I the don't. numbers? No. no. What, what do all those numbers mean, though? Um, Are they like some... It's everyone. I f- forget which ones mean what to, like Antonio. Oh, because you're not, yo, you're 95, 95. which is blacked out. Okay, yeah. right. What, what's a 1245 thing? Is that that's, just uh, that's that's when the brand was created, like the time. Uh, they know the time. It happened like, out of, but that's, that's, that's what like Gons created the, it. Yeah. the photo, right? Oh, yeah. Okay. There's some story. Yeah, yeah. Gons kind of like came up with the name. The name. Yeah. Okay. Right. Like and, him close, the iPad so. and, and it was wrote tw- on it. yeah it was 1245 but he like he was shooting off like rifling off a bunch of numbers or a bunch of names right and then he sent a screenshot of his iPad and it was like just the home page mm-hmm. and it was 1245 and he drew like a three in between the 1245 so like it's one two three graphic, four right? five. yeah one two three four then, right yeah exactly I love that because it's it's a story behind it it's not mm-hmm. just like oh let's just come up with a name oh uh you know uh, stucco skateboards why stucco? I don't know. It just sounded good. You know what I mean? Like there's something, <laughs> yeah. there's something meaningful <laughs> behind it. Yeah. Popcorn. Oh, I love that. No, I just, yeah, I love, I love the meanings. You know what I mean? Like 
rather than just a name. Yeah. Chocolate. Yeah, girls love chocolate. <laughs> you know? I like I don't even like chocolate. The the food. <laughs> I don't. At all? Well, I like uh, white chocolate, but they say white chocolate isn't even a, a chocolate. It's like fake. Or it's something. like fake. Yeah, yeah, I've heard that too. Right. It's like more milk or something. Yeah. It's not even cocoa. I, I do like I do like milk chocolate though. <laughs> Just not dark chocolate. I can't yeah. fuck with dark chocolate. So also, oh, let's talk about the uh, official, mm-hmm. right? The hat company. Yeah. Is it just hats? They do. Yeah, it's it's mainly hats. They have like little pair of t-shirts, apparel okay. pieces. Let me but ask you a question though, because uh, I see like, you know, Stefan skates for them, yeah. right? And uh, you guys got a big team, right? Yeah. But you guys do like m- these massive trips, mm-hmm. you know? How does a hat company afford that? Go on these massive trips, dude. I don't know. We just do. We. It's been a little bit since we done one, but okay. they, they try to do one like once a year. Yeah. And pretty much, I'm sure they probably save up just to have these one trips. And right. usually, we make an edit out of it. Get yeah. A good amount of photos. Because when it. I first saw it, dude, I was like, oh, they're oh official. What what is this? And I looked at them like hats. Mm-hmm. How are they all in fucking like China? J- yeah. 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 Like, we were going is to Jamie places. Thomas on too. Yeah, Jamie Thomas, oh, Stefan, Marquis Henry. Wow. Yeah, there's a lot of people. Dope, dude. Yeah, it's pretty sick. They're doing good. They're in Sacramento based. Okay. And oh, they are? Yeah, yeah. Oh. They're doing good. Sick. Trying to dude. do more trips and make more stuff happen. But right. Yeah, it's oh, cool. Official. Jeff Landy's over there. So oh, I'm, he is? I'm, I'm at the where. Yeah, he's like the TM. I got to give Jeff Landy a call. <laughs> Hit him up, bro. Yeah, I got to give him a call, they, man. They, they I like boxes. to go to China and stuff. <laughs> get right. some hats. Yeah, get some hats. Go to China. Yeah, sounds good. Yeah. So numbers, are you guys going to work on anything? Are you guys, uh, well, you know, you said that you guys are doing a trip down uh, after the Adidas thing. Yeah, and stuff. yeah, we so, stay out longer and do that. Is there any talk of like a, a video, like a full length not or that, Not that I know of. I know yeah. like Antonio's got some footy. I'm sure and, he does. Uh, the guy's a machine. Yeah, he not, already yeah. dropped the part, didn't he? Yeah. Jeez. Yeah. Man. So he's got, I think, another part. But I saw a gnarly <laughs> slam of him, dude. Yeah. Going I, up I, the I, fucking thing. I just seen a photo of his hip. It's all fucking oh, purple. Really? Yeah, it's gnarly. Were, I think weren't it, you in the background? No, I wasn't no, there. You weren't there? They, they went to okay. Texas, and I guess I talked to him today. It was like first spot, first day. Oh, dude, talk about a hipper. Yeah. Jesus. That was fucked up. He flew like 30 feet onto a parking block. Yeah, yeah it looked bad. God damn. But uh, video wise, I don't know. Yeah. I didn't mention like maybe trying to people film parts and then when okay. someone has a part, maybe put it out and make like a montage. So be rad to see, I'm man. Not too sure. You know, because I think you guys are doing a little differently, you know, than yeah. most companies, you know, with the intro part and stuff like that. It's fucking rad. Yeah. You know, I'm hyped on it. So, you know, it's funny because like when, 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 when companies start, you know, it's like numbers, right? And you say it over and over and over again and it doesn't really click until. Maybe a little bit later. Mm-hmm. You know, it's like when girls started. It's like, girl, yeah, bathroom it logo. Really weird, it's a yeah. dude. Yeah. dude. Are you okay, bro? <laughs> <laughs> I just spilled my water again. Second time. It already looks you like I took a piss. Nora's episode. Hold on. I'm going to fuck it. I know. You make me nervous, Miles. <laughs> no worries, dude. I'm not scared of a little water, you know, even if it is fizzy. And flavored. Pample mousse. <laughs> but yeah, like I was saying, like, uh, you know, it just sometimes it sounds weird sometimes you know For sure. it's like when numbers came out i was like numbers oh okay that's interesting yeah. you know any brand even if you look at like volcom or any Vol- anything right. you know like it's like Luka where this word or, come yeah, from where the fuck like, yeah. volcom come from but then right. it like it's around for so 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 long or even just a little bit of time and then it becomes normal it becomes norm- yeah. normal vocabulary mm-hmm. right so what else what else is going on uh what do you like so what do you do when you're at home you know you go to the skate park i mean do you do do you still what do you like do you do anything for fun or what do you uh what do you went to do you watch movies i don't i don't, don't watch I, I mean i watch movies but i don't really watch tv no yeah i never turn on tv really? I, I, I have a laptop that's enough i got and you just watch skate videos netflix i watch oh, like, okay. hbo i've been watching the wire the on wire HBO. i actually okay. just got hbo because i fucked my wrist up oh you so did then i had like some time off how did you fuck your wrist up filming for the push oh, my, really? i guess my ri- like my wrist was fractured i knew about it but i don't know what happened i drove to the doctor to like get it checked out and yeah. then i got in the parking lot and i just went home i was like fuck this on it i think it's fine because I, I wanted to go skate or something okay right right but like it felt all right you know yeah. it only hurt if i fell on it yeah so i just went home never got it fixed and then it finally i fell back and it just gave out but oh. it felt normal like it just i mean it hurt but i was like yeah i gotta go to the hospital like get it situated and i thought i was just gonna get a cast and be out but right. it was dislocated <sighs> So, which Damn. is worse. So, there's, like, so many little bones in there. Yeah. yeah. They had to, like, put me in, like, you know those Chinese things you put your fingers in? You can't pull Finger them apart. Yeah. yeah. They put, like, five of those on this. Like, traction. And they put a weight on this arm. What? So, they, like, stretched out my wrist. Yeah. And then some lady came in and, like, one tried to pull it down. The other one tried to move it over. It was fucked up. Are you up, serious? Oh, Did they numb it or fuck. anything? Or they a little bit. Do- they. I didn't really want to get any of the drugs because, like, I just wanted to know what was going on. And, okay. like. You're they, braver <laughs> than I am. I would have yeah. been, like, yo, put me out. Yeah. But they gave me the morphine. 
and then I don't that shit still hurt like crazy. But we were in Oakland. Uh, it happened in Oakland, so I had to go to the Oakland one. Okay. And like the service was kind of shitty. Right. And, Emergency uh, room. Yeah. Or, yeah. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. And then I thought I was yeah I thought I was gonna get cast and be out. But then they tried to do that and they yeah. couldn't get it back into place. They were oh. like, if we can't get it back into place, we have to do surgery. Oh, Whoa. Shit. So they couldn't get me back into place. I was like, can I go back to Sacramento and do the surgery? They're yeah. like, no, we have to do it here, like right now. Well, not right now, but w I waited like a couple hours. Right. And then these fools were all all there, Alan, all my homies. And then uh, they ended up going home. Well, they said they were gonna wait. Nice friends, yeah. <laughs> nah, <Went home. laughs> nah, nah, nah. Uh, nah we're gonna go we're, eat dinner. <laughs> we're gonna catch a movie. <laughs> no, nah, we were there for fucking days i got there at like probably five maybe 4 30 typical then, emergency yeah room and visit, I, I was right. in the room like waiting with the iv and shit for like Jesus. four or five hours and they said they were going to do surgery had to change for all that and then the lady came out she's like yeah this is a nasty injury like no surgery way. we got to do like pins all in here what no i'm like way. fuck i would have been right. like yo i'm I gonna go to an opinion yeah i'm yeah. gonna go to yeah. an orthopedic doctor yeah so yeah. she's like yeah we're gonna put pins in there to keep it in place wow. and then it's gonna be a couple hours so they were like, yeah, we'll wait in the waiting room. And then I woke up and then my parents were there. So I was like, oh, oh wow. they went home. But yeah, I was in a cast. I got the six pins like in a circle. Oh, shit. And I actually just got them taken out. But you I had got the pins out. Yeah, I got a, okay, I got right. a hard cast, right. which was fine. Except for it's like some of the pins would kind of like poke into the cast. So that shit would like really hurt. Damn. Whoa. And then they had to like, I got like five. Usually you get a cast and then yeah. you're in it. And then I had like five throughout the thing because it was like uncomfortable and stuff they like had that. To cut it open and give you a new give one. Give me new ones. So I was at the hospital like back and forth for a while. Is that the worst when it itches in there? And you gotta like you use a ruler or yeah, something but, to like itch the fucking yeah. thing. But it was yeah. like straight, so I could get a hanger and it would go oh, all the way through. Okay. So right. I, yeah, it was it was all right. <laughs> it sucks yeah. though, dude. But yeah, I got that taken off, and then I was in like this weird soft cast for a sec, okay. and then I got surgery like two weeks ago. Another surgery to get the pins to get out. The pin. oh, okay. Yeah. Right. So they cut the thing, took right. them all out. How long were you in the cast for? I was in the cast probably for like cast, for so like long. two months. Oh, two months. Yeah. But when I had the cast, like I thought I was going to be done with the cast because it was yeah. like so sensitive, you know, I didn't know. And the cast went to my knuckles. So if I fell, oh, I, I, you can't. your fingers can like so you break. you were still skating, oh. obviously, with the... Well, I thought I was going to stop. And then I was thinking about tricks I wanted to do. Right. And I was like, Alan hit me up like, yo, we should film some more. Yeah. I, was another, like, I was like... Another great friend, huh? Leaves, <laughs> uh, leaves the operating room and then calls you up the next nah, day yeah. and I'll film. <laughs> yeah. he, yeah. he was like, what do you think about filming some more tricks okay. for your part? And I was like, dude, I was just thinking the same thing like yeah. come back to sack let's do it okay. and i'm happy we did because we ended up like filming a lot of tricks with the Dope. cast and like one of my last tricks was with the cast so okay. it worked out good Damn. yeah that's tight cast and i could pretty them. much like once the swelling got situated and i had the cast was comfortable mm -hmm. it was like i could slam all i wanted with it like right. i could like tuck it i mean my tuck, elbow's right. kind of fucked up now yeah, but yeah, yeah, i could yeah. still like skate right this and wrist is all weak now from catching myself. With yeah, it, but and plus taking a shower, you got to put like a bag over it or hold your arm out. Don't of they the have like waterproof shower. cast now? Don't they? Oh, do they? No, they because you can't. No, it'll, it'll I, grow mold in there. I heard they do, but yeah. I don't understand how it works. They didn't give me that option. Uh, but you get wet in there, it'll grow mold. Yeah, Probably. Be, yeah. Fucking, his cast, arm is gonna be moldy. Yeah. Huh? Moldy arm. Suck. Yeah, even sweating and it sucks. Okay, are you going to physical therapy though? They told me to let do, it chill. No, oh, I know, really? no, I know, because okay. I just got it, and then I'm gonna be on this trip till the. 13th and okay. the first uh uh physical therapy was going to be like the eighth so they gave me like a little foam thing to squeeze oh, but they said just okay. let it chill all i'm saying is do the physical therapy dude. i mean i can't i, I can't move this shit right now so i have to do I, it yeah, no, yeah. No, I, I broke my elbow yeah and uh, i never did any physical therapy or anything and i can't touch my shoulder damn, damn dude it's like i can't do i can't touch crazy it. if i yeah. have an itch there i have to cross over and itch with my <laughs> right. fucks, yeah. yeah so when i get back i'm gonna do the full thing i'll be home for a little while so i'm okay. gonna do all that right. get my motion back but wow. right now it's pretty fucking stiff it sucks damn dude yeah. Yeah. are you right-handed uh yeah okay good yeah, yeah. oh plus you got we're a girlfriend doing, we're so. doing all right <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah oh i didn't even catch that yeah, well, you know. <laughs> but that sucks man that's a whole fucking thing dude i seriously would have gone to an orthopedic like and and got it checked out like emergency room operations you know if you're dying yeah that's one thing but like your wrist like i don't know it just sounds like they just rushed it i it seemed a little rushed i don't yeah. know yeah i broke my foot before and they did that to me they're like you need to get shit right now yeah but well, I, I mean, wonder, I couldn't walk out of there though. You know what oh, I mean? Yeah, right. yeah. Like that, it might have been your wrist. Too. You can tolerate till I get to a nice place. Yeah, you know, yeah. 
I wonder why they wanted to. They do, put like, hella pins in there. They put like money. six. It was like six a full like pins. circle of like two, two. You know. Were they sticking out of your skin? Okay, so I had this soft cast and it okay. was fat, and so I thought maybe something could be sticking out of my wrist. And I started googling these videos like pin removal. So you had no idea. Oh, I, you? I didn't. You no, were gonna remove the pins? No, 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 no. Oh. But I wanted to see how they were gonna okay. get taken out. <laughs> and then like, googling pin removal, like all, I want to get these all the pins. videos were like these fucking like pins like sticking out yeah. to like here, and then they just like get pliers and just pull them out oh. at the doctor. Oh. I was like. Yo, I'm gonna stop. That. I'm gonna stop watching these videos. Yeah. yeah. No, seriously. And then the, even the lady, the doctor was like, "Oh yeah, the pins are sticking out. We're just gonna pull them out. There's no surgery needed." And then I went there to get the cast taken off, and I was hella nervous to look at it. Look, yeah. And then they took it off, and it was just normal. I was like, "Oh, so they are inside? Fuck, I have to have surgery again." Oh. But what the fuck was she you talking like about? Yeah. I was like, "Damn, she got me all yeah. fucking scared for Were nothing." You, would you rather have surgery or? Yeah, yeah, surgery was fine. And even like she, the doctor was like, "Yeah, we're gonna give you surgery. Like you have the option to stay awake and watch it." And I'm like. Hell no! Like I would have, uh, I would have watched fuck, it, bro. What? I would have watched tripping, it. Yeah, bro. no, I would. Like, I love it, dude. I watch. Yeah, yeah. I watch. Yeah, yeah, I watch like all tripping. kinds. Of, I watch botched. Have you ever seen botched? No. It's like this Hollywood doctors that they do like facelifts and like, like nip, nip jobs or some shit. It's kind of yeah, but it's real yeah. shit, and it's fu- I love it, dude. Except fuck. when they break the nose, it's fucking gnarly. That sucks. But uh, I would have watched it. You're being honest. You you hundred percent. I would watch that shit. Like you would be open. Your wrist would be open. I would feel like you would just pass the fuck out. I would love to see Dude. No, dude, you can't feel any. You're good. Yeah, you know? they put you out. What about uh, you're you made the street league? Oh, <laughs> I did. Yeah, I mean that it was, was last year. Was your first year? Yeah, I was like yeah. one of the street league picks. What do What do you mean? Yeah. What street league pick? Like what yeah, because like they? before before they w- they had just a street league, and then they started. What didn't they do those contests like in LA where you could qualify? Yeah, for yeah. Oh, I think so right. Well, they have they have the they open did. the the um, that's what it was. Barcelona but open yeah. one. Yeah, and then before that they had it here in LA somewhere. I saw something, but okay. Pretty much they started something new last year and did street league picks where they had kids vote. Oh wow! And On they, like video parts, right, or something like that. I think so. I think they just put a list of skaters and kids voted to see who they wanted to get into street league and you got in and kids voted me chris no. jocelyn kevin bradley and kyle walker wow and then we all had like our trial for the thing and then i guess they picked i just got an email and they said that me kyle walker and chris jocelyn made like the actual roster okay for this season so then they're gonna have another new picks and then well, we're chris jocelyn's been in though for a while right hasn't he been in a couple street leagues already just last maybe, year. maybe just last year just the yeah. same amount as he has yeah. oh yeah, yeah. Just yeah. Last year. no he yeah. made to the finals though oh he was yeah. in the la one yeah. i didn't make that oh, yeah you didn't make it uh-huh. oh okay i was wow. in that i was like one under finals you, but it's like uh the, the street leagues um if you don't qualify they don't air those, right? They don't air. No, exactly. Core. So I never. I got um, in Munich. I was like maybe one or two under finals or something. And right. then at the last one, uh, I was sitting next to Felipe. Uh-huh. And then like I was, I think I was in the cut or something. And then Tommy Finn was right under me. Okay. And he was trying. I don't know. He was trying something on the hubba. And then Felipe was like, "Why the fuck is he trying that?" Like ran up to him and like told him a trick. No. And then he did it or whatever. And then bumped, uh, you down. bumped me down. And then he's like, <laughs> he's like, he's like aren't you going to warm up for the finals? I'm like, no, I didn't get it. Tommy Finn just bumped me out. And he's like, I'm sorry, dog. No like, way. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Damn. I was like, dude. I don't give a fuck. But Damn, no. Felipe. But it, was, but it was cool. I was just happy to like be comfortable yeah. and like finally get to like not right. have the I mean, shakes. How, and, how, you how know. many people are watching? Like 15,000? Or It's like yeah, surpri- crazy, dude. Surprisingly, the stadium actually isn't that bad. I thought really? it was going to be like, like, you know, yeah. like, kind of hard to focus, but it's pretty mellow. Everyone's pretty quiet. Is it? It's, it's not it, quiet, yeah. but it's it's, it's not it's quiet, dope, but it's mellower than you yeah. think. You know, it's a yeah. lot of like younger kids, and it's not like right. I don't know. Yeah. Well, little, good luck, dude. I hope you do good, bro. Yeah. I hope you I hope I get to see you on TV. Yeah, we'll try to you get know? there. Yeah. Let my parents or on see the me ETN on TV. Network. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah ETN is it yeah. on ETN now? I don't know how that how that's working. I think out. so. Do you subscribe? I, I got it because it was in Sacramento. It oh, was at that right, big yeah, ass, right, and it was right. the homie Tommy Sandoval, so That's I wanted right. to watch it. Yeah. But. You skated that school heavily, man. You had a lot of footage. Yeah, there. yeah. I really. I mean, it's like the campus that is, has so many famous spots in Sacramento, yeah. and all the rails are like like the replica at Mather, the bigger like the bigger five rail there, whatever, mm-hmm. is like a replica of the OG like brown seven rail at Davis. Yeah. Oh, okay. So all the rails are like really good. You can like learn a trick at the park and go there. And right. I remember when you were like fourteen. I was there with you, and he cable back tailed it. <laughs> yeah, that was the first street rail. That was yeah. tight. It was the first time I met him, and he cable back tailed like wow. little little ass kid. Yeah. Cable back tail fakies, eight yeah. rail, so good. That was <laughs> Were tight. you always tall? No, I hit a growth spurt in high school because okay. I, I was like I was pretty short. Yeah, all my homies were shorter than me. I mean, I was shorter than all my homies in the right. high school. Like junior year, I kind of just sprouted up. Really? Same with my brother too. My brother, like senior year, just got tall as fuck. He's like six foot right now, and he was super small. Six foot at eighteen years old. So um yeah, and then I 
hit some inches and now i'm like six two damn yeah are you still growing i mean they say you're gonna grow to you're like 22 or 25 i don't know what it is 25 and then you start yeah. shrinking probably <laughs> yeah when you get older you start i feel like yeah. i'm shrinking already hey look like looks like it or maybe it's just my posture a bad posture dude stand up straight okay oh. don't fuck around with your posture dude listen to your mom I kinda does slouch, your mom ever tell you but do your posture no no i don't think so oh. Maybe sitting down, sit up tall. Yeah, yeah, sit up straight. I mean, look how much taller I am. When I, I mean, sit up yeah, straight. I slouch. I see some homies. <laughs> see, on my I have to like adjust tall. my yeah, microphone. Giraffe. Yeah, to raise my microphone. Yeah, you look hella tall right now. Actually, that's what I'm saying. That's right? weird. Probably, don't, don't do that. that I'm probably weird. even off to see. Look at that. <laughs> raise my fucking microphone. I'll sit like this for the rest of the show. Does it make you uncomfortable? I'm com- I'm uncomfortable right that's now. It's pretty hilarious. Yeah. Look how fucking tall my mic is. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. It makes me uncomfortable. Does okay. I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll put it back to normal. Uh, so it's a cool man. Well, I w- I hope you do good in street league. That'd yeah, be fucking rad you. to see I'm you on, on TV and stuff. I know because my parents. I don't think they understood that it was like only the finals were televised. So, so they're, they're like, like, oh, when are you gonna be on TV? Yeah. yeah. But yeah, hopefully I'll make it to the finals one time. So they can I mean, see. it's a big thing being on TV. You know, mm-hmm. dude, you might get sponsored by like uh you know Hoover vacuums or something. You know, <laughs> Gillette. Yeah, they see you. Yeah, Gillette. You know, it'll be fun this year. I'm hyped that I made it back in because I thought I was out. I thought you had to make it to finals last year. Uh, like the LA stopped to be in the okay. next one. So. But, but oh, they have it in Barcelona. Are you going to go to the Barcelona one when they do it? I actually just I saw all the dates, but I don't think I'm going to be at the pro. Ah, uh, I think it's like once you're in the roster, it's like I don't know if it's op- I mean, all the pros go to that one to try to get more points. But oh, okay. I have some. My girlfriend's graduating college, so I'm oh wow, go do oh, that, cool. and then I'll be out there like two days after the contest. Wow, so. did you graduate high school? I did not, but I got no? my GED. You got your GED? Yeah. Okay. It took me a little while, but I got that. Yeah. A lot of skaters they don't graduate high school. You know? Yeah, shit kind of pops off like yeah. right in that time frame, and yeah. you know sometimes no, you get true. distracted. But, I mean, for you too, you had a lot of shit going. I was on. senior year too. I was real close, and I didn't finish, which was kind of uh, crazy. But right, right, yeah. So I kind of, I kind of joked at it. Like you can always go back, like Billy Madison style. Oh God. <laughs> Yeah, I kind of like I, I was like nudging <laughs> at it like I think I'm a dropout I think I'm like to yeah. my mom and she'd be like no you're not like she would just yeah and I ended up doing homeschool okay. for a little while and that wasn't what they said it was going to be because they said like oh you can go on trips and then your studies will be paused when you get back you can pick up but they'd be like no you got to take the packet on the trip like no you're not going to do that and right. then, who's taking a packet to China yeah I got, you know? got the GED yeah. so we're all good now in that time though you must be getting paid though from your from your sponsors right yeah it was so you're making good money a lot of high school students probably they making don't, more than his teachers maybe I don't know how what they make get, how, much, <laughs> how much do you get paid right now <laughs> what, are we, what, are we, what are we talking about huh? Adidas how much are, how much are we getting huh? I don't know yeah? no? what's the starting rate over there yeah what do we what do we look uh, come no? on Chris let's go I don't know. I just like, <laughs> hey, I like to ask, but nobody fucking ever answers. You know, it's yeah. all good. It's all good. How much do you make, Chris? Don't worry about it, Kelly. Yeah. <laughs> you know, so you're not going to tell me. Okay. We'll see. Uh, so uh, what else do we got? Did anything else you want to talk about while we're while we're here? Anything else you could think of? Not that I know of. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. If you what guys got some. What makes you laugh? What makes me laugh? Curveball. <laughs> Random curveball. Curveball. Curve what Raj. makes you laugh, Raj? <laughs> yeah. 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 Hey, you, you make me laugh. No, come on. <laughs> That's some bullshit. Life makes me laugh. I'd be happy. I don't know. I'd be laughing too if I was on Adidas and going on trips. And <laughs> yeah. on fishing, <laughs> and going to bank. China and you know all this shit. Yeah. I'd be happy. I'm miserable, Miles. No, you're not. <laughs> you know, come on. Miserable. No, it's good. We're all having fun, right? Yeah, it's yeah. it's skateboarding, times. dude. You gotta have fun, you know. Yeah. Sometimes it's Can't like sometimes it gets time. serious, you know. It's like well, fuck, why serious, you know? Yeah, it's mellow. Yeah. All right, dude. Well, uh, well, let's get out of here then. All right. Where yeah? you gonna go? I'm gonna go home. All right. Where are you gonna go? I'm already home. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> How'd this shit come about? How'd you guys decide to do the show? Well. Me and Mark Johnson, we were doing a little podcast thing too. We only did like two episodes, mm-hmm. you know, but we were having fun with it. And Raj, he wanted to do one for Dwindle. And then me and Mark stopped doing ours because it was hard. He lived in yeah, yeah, yeah. Hollywood. I lived And I was here. like, why did you stop doing it? It was fucking great. And I'm like, he's like, dude, I can't get these guys together. It's kind of hard. It's I'm difficult. like, I'm like, I'll help you. And then like, he's like, let's just do a show together. Well, it's funny because Raj, he almost pulled me into it because I was like, uh, you know, I, uh, God, I don't know. Because I always think, Miles, I was like, what are people going to think? You know, is it just, is this going to be whack? Are people going to be like, uh, what are they doing? You know what I mean? Like it always goes through my mind. You know, it was almost number three. <laughs> oh, I was almost a trifecta. Yeah. Spill my drink again. Should do it. But, uh, so he put, he's like, oh, fuck it. Let's just do it. You know? And then I was, and then Roger's like, I'll film it. 
And I'm like, no, motherfucker, you're sitting down here <laughs> with me. Yeah. Uh, you know, I don't want to do some fucking. Yeah. I've never wanted to sit in this chair. Right. Well, imagine if it was just you and me. Yeah. yeah. So miles. Yeah. You know, this is great. You know, it's weird, right? Yeah, it's, it's not better. a conversation. Yeah. It's fucking. Yeah. I don't know. But anyway, so yeah, we did it. Nice. It was cool. Yeah. And we're still Start. doing it. Oh God, I'm so tired, Miles. <laughs> I'm so tired. <laughs> you know, it's fucking show. You know. <laughs> All right. Uh, well, dude, hey, good luck with everything, bro. Hell yeah. Man, you're the man, it. dude. Thanks for coming by. Of course. It's been fucking rad, dude. Thanks, Thanks for having me, dog. Dude, you're the fucking dude. You're Appreciate the man, it. dude. And uh, yeah, good things to come, dude. I can't wait to see numbers and all that shit going on, yeah, bro. Me too. Adidas, me too. you know. You guys got some cool shit going on. You're so, doing it. Yeah, I trying love it. to. Learned a lot about it. It's a good first combo. Yeah. yeah. You ever do anything like this before? No. <laughs> no? It was cool. Though, I mean, right? I've done interviews, but you know, not like this. It's it's a yeah. like a press conference. Right. <laughs> Everybody's got a story, man. I know. Yeah, Everybody's got cool green. shit to fucking say. Totally. Yeah. And I, I love that because there's a lot of like, a lot, there's like we were talking about earlier. There's a lot of filler content. Right. Like Billy's new whip. Check it. Like. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Check out Timmy's house. Billy just got a new Lamborghini. Right. Yeah. 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 Billy no, just totally. built a quarter pipe in the back. We're gonna we're gonna do a five minute segment on it. Right. <laughs> Like, why don't you just not? You got any curse words you can teach them? You can say, uh, vai se fuder. Vai se fuder. <laughs> That's good. That's Thank, good. You, bro. <laughs> Thank you. That's, that means uh, go fuck yourself. Kelly, vai se fuder. <laughs> Dude, what the fuck? <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm trying out my new lingo on you, Dude. bro. Don't take offense, hey, man. He's I'm just, just, he's just out, learning I'm over just here. just learning, yeah. okay? Vai se fuder. Come on, bro. Twice <laughs> of a day. Okay, what's oh, another? Oh, you got it. <laughs> what's another one? Yeah, so I love you. <laughs> you got to know the curse words. <laughs> <laughs>